fancy a bit more of an earlier walk or ramble around the park, check out Pieta House's um, walk for Against Suicide, Darkness Into Light, next weekend. It starts at 4 a.m. next Saturday. So we find out a bit more what's coming up and what's involved. Joyce, I'm here at the Four Seasons for the launch of the Darkness Into Light 5K in Ada Pieta House. Let's see who I can have to have a chat with. I'm here with Joan at the Pieta House uh, launch of the Darkness to Light run. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your organisation? Pieta House is, uh, offers a one-to-one -one service, uh, professional counselling service to people who are in acute distress. So for people who attempt to take their life but thankfully survive but still means that they're high risk or those who are strong enough to take their life or people who self -harm. So it's a free, wonderful service. We uh, five centres, four in Dublin, and we're going to be opening another four centres uh, during the summer. Yeah, and the darkness into, in, into light idea, where did that come from? I robbed it. I robbed it from America, I have to tell the truth. Um, and I was actually walking, training in the marathon myself, walking, and I was with a friend, and um, I said, look, why don't we do this? And she said, oh, no, I don't know. And I said, look, you're now chairperson of Darkest Into Light. <laughs> and that's how it happened five years ago. So it's been an incredible success. Okay, and, you, and you actually have a, a new one rolling out in uh, Donna Base. Is this? Yeah, we have one. Yeah, because the Finger Spark is getting too big. Okay. So we've got another venue in Dublin. But we've, we've 20 venues all together. Mm -hmm. We're in 19 counties. Yeah. So just imagine there's going to be about 30,000 people walking at the same time. Yeah. yeah Hopefully you know. more now after this month. And, and why do you think uh, it has been so successful? Because you know, the number of people in this room today and the celebrities associated now with, with the, the charity really speaks to how successful. It is successful. Yeah. But it's successful because of the people. And the celebrities are very good to give their time and their, and their, their effort. But even celebrities are touched by suicide. And I think that we need to acknowledge that you know every day ten people die. If it was ten people from some other cause like car accidents, it would be an uproar. So we're starting to make that uproar now. Yeah, and, and what got you involved? Like, what got you started on this in the first place? Well, for, for personal reasons and for, for career reasons, not career, but, but uh, um, clinical reasons, I'm a psychologist. And, um, there was a definite gap in services where if someone was suicidal, the only thing they could do was go to their GP or A and E. And you know, people aren't sick. They need support. They need emotional support. So, um, and also from a personal reason, experiencing suicide myself, uh, with a lot of spurring me on to go to the PHS. Okay, so if someone wants to help out, wants to help the PHS, what's the best thing they can do? Where do they go about that? Well, they can get onto our website and there's a volunteering section there, which would be absolutely brilliant. But really, the best thing of all is join the walk. 11th of May, 4 o'clock in the morning, and you'll get a hot dog out. <laughs> well, that's a good invitation. <laughs> great, thanks very much, and great to meet you. Thanks, and you too. And why do you think this, why, why this is event, do you think, is, uh, is so, so important? Well, just more promotion as much as possible, yeah. so is that there's not one single person that's left in the dark, as yeah. such. Uh, I'm with Fred Codley. Uh, Fred, we're at the Pleasure House launch of the Darkness Into Light Run, and uh, can you explain to us just a little bit why you're here and why you're well, I think anybody who has had any contact with Pieta House will be um, very anxious to, to contribute in some, some way. So I was invited to, to come along today by Suzanne Graham. You know, will you be encouraging other people to, to do the work? I, I would certainly be encouraging anybody to, who can to come along and support the whole thing. Um, you know, we all are, I suppose, reactive in our reaction to uh, invitations to take part. But um, being proactive is what it's all about. Get out there and do it. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and do you have any opinions on why this uh, event's doing so well? I think it's unique in many ways. I've never heard of it before. Uh, and I think it, there's a little, the novelty of it will generate a bit of excitement. And families can come out and enjoy themselves. 
and everybody feels they are participating. And again, it's a bit of a sacrifice for people to make. And we all know that when you do something that's a little bit of a test, and you actually achieve it, you get a great sense of satisfaction from it. So I'm sure it will be a great success. I only hope the weather is good. Hi, Avian, how are you? How are you? I'm fine, thanks, how are you? Great. Um, now, we're at Pieta for the Darkness Into Light event. Uh, why, why, are you, why, why are you here? Why are you lending your support? Well, um, myself and Peter Coonan both were asked to get involved. Uh, I think Stuart Carolyn has a contact here with one of the ladies. So um, we were asked and we were delighted to be asked to be part of something like this. And uh, we just want to lend our support and promote it as much as possible. Did you heard about before this year, before you got asked? You know, the no, actually, no. So that, but then I suppose once you hear something once, you notice it more and more. And you know, I obviously seen it on the Saturday night show then. And so it just needs like everybody to just push it as much as possible, so nobody it goes, you know, nobody misses it. I'm with Brian McAvoy uh, at the PH of Darkness into Light launch. Um, Brian, you're starting a new a, a new event kind of this year, a, a new walk. Yeah, um, obviously Phoenix Park has been going for, this is the fifth year um, it's in Phoenix Park, but this is the fourth year now for Newbridge House in Donna Bates, so it's very exciting but daunting as well um, as any new event, you, you just don't know what to expect, um, but at the moment there's been, there's been great publicity about it and today hopefully uh, we'll get a bit more off that, but um, like we have over 400 people registered at the moment, so we're, we're pretty happy now at the moment, a few weeks off the event, you know. And uh, you, I, you were speaking earlier on and you said that you've been involved with the, the organisation for a number of years. Why, why is your family, and you said your whole family is, why is your family so involved with the um, Well, unfortunately, in 2007, we lost our brother, Adrian, um, to suicide. Um, so, the, basically, the year after... Um, some of my family uh, went to me at a house for counselling um, and they, they had this phenomenally. Um, so as a, as a thank you, we started up our own events out in Lusk in County Dublin, which was a tea party. Um, and we run that for the num last number of years. Um, so this year we were approached to um, do the Darkness Into Light and done a bait and we, we accept it gratefully. Um, so this is our this is our bit for Dark, Dark for Pieta House uh, this year. So that's that's our, our story. Okay, so how can uh, how can people sign up? How do they get involved? Um, basically if you go to uh, dil.pieta.ie and you you can register there. If you want to register for Newbridge House, um, it's the North Dublin event and you can click on that. Um, individual or you can do a family and if you can't make it there's a, an also button for that as well. Okay, that's great, thank you very much. Okay, I'm here with Avril Copeland at the Pieta House launch of the Darkness and Light. Um, tell me Avril, what, what's your part in, in the Pieta House charity? So basically I am one of the sort of founding committee of the Darkness and Light. In 2009 we submitted our first 5k in Phoenix Park where we had about 40 people. So um, yeah, so basically I've been on the committee ever since and you know, I've stayed with it over the years. And, and how did you get involved? What, what attracted you to Pieta? Um, so basically I have, one of my good friends works in a school pretty close to Pieta House and a lot of the kids that she would, you know, she is a chaplain in the school, so a lot of the kids that she would, you know, maybe counsel in, in school time and um, they might have some issues. So she'd bring them to Pieta House and it's a free service and then um, I suppose it's, it was one of the only services at the time where you can go instead of going to the, you know, the A&E or something if you're in crisis and um, so just really through that and then just I suppose my own sporting history or whatever and uh, they asked me to come on board just for the 5k because I had experience doing different races and, and just tell us a little bit about your sporting history and um, so basically I played hockey for Ireland from the age of about 18 um, and then made up onto the senior team and then I left and moved to the States and I took up the sport on expedition adventure racing. So I do these multi-day races. And uh, why do you think Pieta House has been so successful with this particular charity, Darkness and Light? It's, it really seems to be growing every year with more and more venues. Yeah, it's kind of, to be honest, it's one of those, it's, it's such a special experience. And I suppote the first people, we had the first 400 that ever come through the Phoenix Park. And from that, you know, they told each one of those told you know how many friends and and I suppose there's many there's loads of five k's out there for charities and everything but I suppose with this starting at 4:30 in the morning 
morning when it's pitch dark and then finishing as the sun rises and it really is, um, is very symbolic of what light does and how it helps people you know, come out of the darkness into the light and the whole atmosphere there when you're there at 4.30 in the morning with Phoenix Park you know, you'd never be there at that time for any reason you know, so I suppose it's, it's sort of you're all there together in solidarity you know, hoping to raise awareness for suicide in Ireland but also raising funds for Peter House and also getting your exercise which is, which is a good way to do it too yeah, exactly Okay, well, ho hopefully you do even better this year and uh, keep up the good work, I yeah, suppose. Yeah, thanks a million. Thanks a million. I'll just say to anyone who's interested, they can go on, you know, thankfully we have the support of the left part this year, and um, they can go online to dil.pieta.ie, so that's dil.pieta.ie, and they can register online. And that was Sunday Sports correspondent Izzy Joyce covering the launch of the Pieta House Darkness into Light run, which is taking place next weekend nationwide. Now, it's in the Phoenix Park, it's in Newbridge House in... Um, Donna Bait. Donna Bait, it is. And also multiple locations nationwide. And it really is worthwhile checking out. It's a really powerful event and very much worthwhile getting up at that 4am early start in the morning. Both of us did it last year, Claire. Yeah. You did it for a friend, um, in memory yeah. of a friend. Tell us a little bit about your experience. I just couldn't get over it. I'm really not a morning person as it is. I but can, you, you, you can sing that <laughs> one. <laughs> But to see so many people turn out, I was in Phoenix Park last year, um, again, it was in memory of a friend of mine, and you know, everybody there was for a reason that was very close to their heart, and you could really feel that the powerful emotion there on the, on the morning now, pitch black, uh, everybody shuffling around trying to figure out where they were going and where they had to pick up their t-shirts and all the rest, and there was some mums there, a support group, and they'd got some uh, tea lights written, writing out the word hope, which is just really, really lovely, and whether you were walking it, running it, it didn't matter. Everybody was just there for the same reason. Yeah, I, I had a very nice experience at the, the event last year. I suppose the first thing that struck me when I rocked up to it was that it was unlike any other run or physical activity I've ever been to before in my life. Normally you arrive at, at a kind of a 5k or 10k run and everyone's uh, wearing the lycra and all do dolled up in all the gear. It wasn't like that at all. Everybody was just your average Joe, probably never done a 5k before in their lives and really just doing it in memory of a friend, a family member, uh, a neighbour who had made that decision to take their own life at some stage or other. And it was just a very moving experience. I myself, I did it with a friend whose brother had committed suicide. And we spent the hour, which it took us to walk around, uh, basically having a chat, reminiscing about the good times we had with that yeah. person. And, and she was pregnant at the time and, and chatting about maybe the future as well. And it was, it was probably one of the highlights of last year. And I think if anyone who's been touched by um, I suppose suicide in general uh, it's really really worth getting out to that and an absolutely beautiful event as well because everybody's there for the same reason but it's pitch black in the Phoenix Park and some people have brought out their little lights everybody has their mobile phone with the flashlight going and everything um, but really it's pitch black when you all start together and, and everybody is there together in it um, and as you're going around the sun is coming up and it, yeah. you know. it, it, it symbolizes I suppose moving from darkness into light oh, over the, yeah. the course of dawn more details on dil.pieta.ie that's dil.pieta.ie an event well worth checking out and please support it if you possibly at all can and that's when